Hello and welcome to another update video about Optimism. So since Optimism broke out of this ascending wedge to the downside, we're tracking this downside movement and further downside is also expected. Uh, I would focus generally on round about $1.16 as a target, but it can take a little while to get there. So the expectation was to react to resistance here between $1.64 and $1.89 and to break ideally to the downside of this wedge pattern. They often do that yeah. in probabilities terms. You would expect a break to the downside and that also occurred. And typically you would say that a typical target after such a breakout would be the beginning of the wedge. And I'm just highlighting that as $1.16 level. I'm also tracking the micro count. Now also be aware that these micro counts can be misleading, especially on the micro level, but so far it's working nicely. The idea is um, that we could be in an A wave now. So A, B, C is certainly an option here, an A, B, C structure, or alternatively an impulse to the downside. The thing is, you never know with these A, B, C, uh, sorry, you never know with this larger A wave, yeah? is this going to be a five wave move or is it going to be a three wave move? An A wave can be five waves or three waves, but so far we, we just, sort of tracking downside movement against resistance. The elite wave count gives us the relevant resistances we need to look for. And last few videos we talked about, okay, white wave three, expected rally into white wave four resistance happened, rejection happened. Now we are tracking down. What I'm a little bit unclear about is if we are still in, white, in yellow wave three or already in yellow wave five, I think we should be in yellow wave three. That seems to be more reliable, but be aware that Diving that much into a micro count on an altcoin is potentially dangerous. But that scenario gives me a resistance level of $1.61, basically, as resistance that this wave 4 should not break above. If it does it, I wouldn't still be bullish, right? It would simply indicate that possibly we completed already the A wave. So in any case, I would eventually expect lower. And... Um, Knowing that this could also be a B wave if we get a corrective rally tells me the other relevant resistance levels to watch. So the first resistance is $1.61. Above that, I've got $1.75 now. So if price breaks and sustains above $1.75, an upward trend might begin. To, even if it's a B wave corrective rally, so basically a larger than expected corrective rally, it should stay below $1.75. It should stay below $1.75. So basically against $1.75, I would focus on lower at the moment still in potentially an unfolding impulse to the downside. And bigger picture, zooming out a little bit to the four hour chart, we can see that there are a few options how this could unfold. For example, I've sketched out a triangle. Doesn't mean it needs to become a triangle, but we had a corrective rally to the upside. We had a corrective rally to the downside into the June 2023 lows. We had a corrective rally to the upside into the August 2023 highs. So I'm just very mindful that we might not get a fifth wave impulse to the downside or ABC structure in a diagonal, but rather an ABC structure within a triangle, which might then lead to a higher low. But still, I think $1.16 is the next milestone target that I'm watching for. Uh, we, we need to take this as we go. We need to see do we, how do we react to $1.16 when we get there? How do we react to the ascending trend line? Again, it could be a triangle or this yellow wave count, which could lead to another bear market low. But I'm very much exploring the triangle option first because it will be the first support area we are approaching. That's my update about optimism. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.